What's up, everybody? I'm Knox Hutchinson, and I'm really excited to be talking to you about the CCIE journey and how I can help contribute along with your journey towards the CCIE. Because going for your CCIE at the end of the day, it really is a journey, isn't it? So when I've been preparing for the new CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Exam, nobody in the United States at the time that I'm recording this has taken this exam yet, and I want to be one of the first people to take it. So to help me prepare along the way, one of the things that I've been working on over the last few months is creating a little practice exam for myself. And that's what this playlist is really going to be all about. It's going to be all about solving that practice exam. So what I want to do is I want to set up some expectations about what this content that you're about to watch really is and what it's all about. You see, what was really going on here is I was practicing with this practice exam or I was building this practice exam over the course of months. And I decided one day to just sit down and record myself taking this practice exam talking about why I'm choosing the solutions that I'm choosing. And this sets up one of the first big key talking points that I want to bring up about this practice exam is that this content isn't really instructional in nature. This isn't like other CBT Nuggets content that you've watched me teach in the past where we're actually teaching new topics. This is really me just candidly working through a practice exam and talking about why I'm choosing the solutions that I'm choosing, but not necessarily digging deep into the technologies themselves or explaining why or how things work. So let's, I just wanted to set that up front, but this is also good experience to see how someone might work through a myriad of different practices practice exam questions and scenarios. The second thing I want to set up here is that there are some requirements technically if you want to follow along. I use EVNG, which is the emulation tool for running all of these devices. And within the topology itself, I actually list out the images that are required to make this work. So it'll be on you to acquire EVNG and the required images to make this work. We will not be providing any of these images and we won't be pointing you in the direction of where to get them. You need to acquire them in the most legal way that you possibly can. Yeah, I want to say there's a lot of stuff going on on the screen. I recorded it on a big monitor, this one right behind me here, in 4K. So if you have the ability to watch this on a big screen or in 4K, I highly encourage you to do that. So follow along with the supplementary file that will have the topology that you can import into EVNG. And in the very next video, I'll actually walk you through the steps on how to import it into EVNG and get all of the devices in the topology bootstrapped and ready to work. And lastly, the thing I'll say is this should take about 10 to 20 hours to complete. I think after all is said and done with all the recording I've done, this is going to shake up to be right around 10 hours of me working through these things. And I'll tell you, I really did get stumped on some of these things. I really did have to stop, pause, think about it, even do a little bit of Googling on a couple of the problems to figure out what it was because some of this stuff, even though I'm challenging myself and I knew I could do this stuff, some of this stuff, it was still the first time I had been hit with a scenario like this before. So get ready. It's going to be big. It's going to be fun. You're going to learn a lot. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see y'all in the next one when we get EVNG set up.